Okay, we're going to uh, show how to uh, do a horse's head so that it's hidden when um, when the movement goes on. This piece in here, I've cut out the back, hollowed out the back of the horse's head here after I cut him off. I've put a piece of post-it note paper around the horse's head and super glued it just around the neck there, relieving it so that that diameter there fits inside the horse's head and likewise the, the, uh, the width of it so that it actually goes inside. So we're going to get the horse's head moving like this. I put a, made a little brass tee piece out of uh, 20 thou shim brass and just soldered a plate in the back and I've just got this gusset coming off it here and you'll see I've got a slightly elongated hole in here which I made with the Dremel tool and I have went to the local dentist and the dentist gives me his uh, little drill drill bits uh, so you get the finer ones which Dremel don't sell so you, but you can get these little rotary ball cutters uh, that are nice and small that you can use these are the cutters that I've used so far to hollow out the horse hollowing out the underneath part here there's the mechanism underneath there and you can see at the moment with the mechanism underneath there I've got the horse's tail which is just like a crankshaft on a, on a car's motor I've got a crankshaft in there that's working the horse's tail and it also goes up into the back of the arm so I've got a push rod coming up there with a little piece of tube the crank going out into his arm and his arm it can be adjustable at the moment I haven't glued that in There's a, the pin runs through into his arm so that he's waving his hat so that's what you're seeing at the moment now we're just going to put the horse's head on I'll just show you how I'm doing this so once I get the head in there we'll put a pin through I'll try the other end now this will be hidden and I'm use, using a piece of Kitchy Trains wire here there's your pivot piece, this one here so the horse's head will now move and see there's no gap, you don't see the gap underneath the horse's um, chin because the posted note paper extended that so there you go, so that wire there coming through will now get connected onto this main one wire that goes up so I have the head the arm and the tail Whoop. head, the arm and the tail and I've got the tail swishing this time rather than the horse, oh, the tail is just super glued some uh, hairs together push them on and then the horse's tail swings swishes from side to side so there's the cowboy so he can be waving to the train going by or he can be hooting along the cattle at the uh, cattle yard and once I solder this on here there's the horse's head moving as well this is very hard to sort of write down and explain so um, that's why I'm doing it um, showing you there now how these are sort of done that's um, all the materials is there is just using some uh, 20 thou um, piano wire that's 20 thou that's 8 thou Titchy Trains uh, phosphor bronze wire and underneath that wire with the crank on it there and I'm just using some very small brass tubing here which I just snip off so that's about, no, what is it, one millimeter, that's one millimeter brass tubing and uh, I use a 21 thou drill just clearance so it's 20 thou, 21 thou just gives you a nice little bit of clearance so when I'm drilling the holes and that, uh, it's there so when you see the horse side on I'll, you'll, um, you'll see his, um, all the movements going on so I hope that helps, I'm showing you all the tricks.